ChatGPT came up with a new concept and it's called Connector. It's available to most of the plans, but not in all regions. So I thought it would be good to quick demo, which also will star in my blog. And I just want to show you what it can do. So created this little video, I'll comment on it. So there's a search connectors and there's a deep search. That's the first difference you need to make with search. You have the option to search through files connected on a storage and you saw some of them. You can also create your own connector, which is basically an MP, an MCP server. It's a bit of coding that connects to an external resource. It's not what we want to do searching. We want to do deep search because with deep search, it becomes much clearer what you can do. So as you can see here, you can, you could here connect Google drive, Google calendar. I already configured them. You see them there, Google calendar, Google drive. What you then do is you flick the switch on where you would want to do deep research on, and you define, you define a prompt or on what you want to search. And this one I had to fit in something to give you a bit of an idea. So I would say report on the contents of this drive. It comes up with a question because it's a really broad, broad question, of course. And then I said the report on the PDFs for me. So I'm not even looking into the contents, but more on showing you what the potential is with access to such a drive, a Google drive. It starts researching here. So that's a deep research and I'll open the window on the right, which gives you a bit more insight on what it is doing. I click on that and then this bit is a bit slow. I think it's then connecting to through the cloud to in the Google drive and it starts summarizing what it is doing here in its research, but uh, deep research used to be, uh, two web resources and these are, let's say private resources with your private data. And uh, yeah, you can imagine that's a really powerful option. And then there's Google drive, but as mentioned, you could do outlook or a calendar HubSpot. And I definitely can recommend trying this out. Thanks for watching.